G'day and welcome to the second episode in a four-part series where we travel from the Blue Mountains to Byron Bay. But today we're about halfway between Sydney and Brisbane in the country music capital of Australia, Tamworth. And it's all been brought to you by our good mates at GNS Chassis with a little bit of help from Billabong Caravans, Universal Caravans and Vacationer Caravans. Now why don't you come along with us as we show you... What's, What's up, down It's time to see this land. This land of wonder It's time to go and see What's up down under oh. What's up down under On this journey we started in the Blue Mountains then drove through to Tamworth where we are today then we'll be heading off to Port Macquarie and finishing our journey in Byron Bay and as always we won't be doing this alone Travelling with us in the Billabong Driver Series is the ever-reliable Ron and Di Sinclair. From vacation at Caravans, we're lucky enough to have Aidan Saggers travelling in style in the Rough Rider. Making an appearance with us is the durable Universal Explorer, giving us plenty of luxury. And rounding out our team is the knowledgeable Mark from GNS Chassis, who'll be giving us plenty of handy tips along the way. Today's journey has been brought to you by our good mates at GNS Chassis. For more information, simply go to gnschassis.com.au. Well, that's the Billabong. Now, I can stand here and tell you all about it myself, but I figure Ron and Di have been towing it to here from the Blue Mountains. They're going to be the right people to know all about it. The fact that this Billabong is sitting on a GNS chassis makes me feel much more comfortable right from the word go. Yeah, absolutely. And it tows so well. It's just almost effortless. And then when we had it on, on the dirt the other day, yeah. Slight corrugations, but very, very comfortable, very easy to handle. I love the layout of the kitchen, the cafe seating's beautiful. And comfortable too, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is comfortable. Lots and lots of cupboard space, and the bed's really wonderfully comfortable, isn't it? That's very important to us, is a comfortable bed. It sure is. And the fact that it's reverse cycle air conditioning yeah. means that whenever you're yeah. powered up, you can take it anywhere. I really love the bathroom, um, especially the way they have the top loader washing machine because then you've got all that extra bench space on top of it. Yeah, and I noticed that when we set up the TV, we can watch it very comfortably in bed or we can swing it around yeah, and, and watch it from the cafe the seating cafe, area. Yeah. With the way this van's set up, this being the Drover series, so it's set up for off-road use. So, you know, we can take it on that dirt road, but you can also camp we, when we free camp the other night. Yeah. We've got our own water, it's got the, it's got the yeah. water pump. We've got two um, solar panels, two batteries, Everything runs on 12 volts, so yeah, you've, got, really good, you've got your fridge, you've yeah. got, you know, everything you need pretty much. You can still have your hot and cold showers. Yep. Um, it's still got the shower outside too, you know, for when, when you want to have a rinse down, a hot and cold shower outside. Yeah. All the luxuries. Absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable towing a big van. Yeah. Well, to tow a van this size and have the capabilities that it has and the space that it has, it's, it's, a, it's remarkable, really. If you want any more information on the Drover series from Billabong or any of the other caravans in the Billabong range, just go to billabongcaravans.com. What are you doing, old mate? Got a flat? No, Mac, I'm just testing the tyre pressure. Ah, one of your morning routines, is it? It is. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to test the pressure cold. So it's been sitting overnight. We check the pressure. Now what we're going to do is 100 kilometres down the road, we're going to just pull over and check it again make sure that the hot temperature is six psi more than the cold pressure. That'll tell us that the pressure is correct. If we underflated, the pressure will be more. If we overflated, the pressure will be less. Ah, so finally, someone's put some, some technology and some methodology into working out what tyre pressures you should actually have instead of using rules of thumb. Right, there's a misconception that every, everyone should have 45 psi pressure. That's wrong. You've got to have the correct pressure that suits the tyre and the load on the tyres. It's a complicated um, calculation to work out, so what we've done, we've made it simple. We've put it on our website. So what's your website, mate? gnschassis.com.au So they can go there and they'll find this formula and never again have to wonder what tyre pressures to run. You'll have the formula and you'll have a chart to make it easy, so you can just look up your tyre sizes, your tyre brand, your load and your tyres, there you got it, 
We'll give you your pressure. Well, Robbie, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. That's right, Macca, and it's all been brought to you thanks to our good friends at GNS Chassis, with a little help from Vacationer Caravans, Universal Caravans, and Billabong Caravans. And we mustn't forget to thank our good mates from the Tamworth Regional Council for showing us such a good time while we were there. Now, we're going to head off and see you again next week, but we'll be in Port Macquarie having a whale of a time there. So make sure you join us as we show you... What's, what's up, down under? What's up, down under?